Good afternoon. Welcome to Sacred Heart St. Joseph Parish. Join us in our opening song, number 313, Gather Your People, 313. gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy and you're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Thank you. 
and let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Habakkuk. How long, O Lord? I cry for help, but you do not listen. I cry out to you, violence, but you do not intervene. Why do you let me see ruin? Why must I look at misery? Destruction and violence are before me. There is strife and clamorous discord. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write down the vision clearly upon the tablets so that one can read it readily, for the vision still has its time, presses on to fulfillment, and will not disappoint. If it delays, wait for it. It will surely come. It will not be late. The rash one has no integrity. But the just one, because of his faith, shall live. The word of the Lord. The second reading is a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. 
So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. Take as your norm the sound words that you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard this rich trust with the help of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Be my mind and on my lips and in my heart. The apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The Lord replied, You have faith the size of a mustard seed. You would say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Who among you would say to your servant who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, prepare something for me to eat? Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I'm finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you've been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We've done what we were obliged to do. And the gospel, the good news of the Lord. The apostles today in the gospel, they have a special request for the Lord. And that special request is they said, Lord, increase our faith. In other words, let us have tremendous faith in our lives. And Jesus said to them on the topic of faith, he said, guess what? If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds, if you have faith of a mustard seed, you'll be able to make that mulberry bush go into the sea. In other words, you'll be able to do great things even with a little faith because faith helps create wonderful and beautiful things for God. How do you increase your faith? Well, he gives us the answer in the second part of the gospel, and that is to be a servant of God. That's how one increases their faith, by serving the Lord. You know that old line that we use, we say, practice makes perfect? Well, the more we serve the Lord, the more we grow in our faith. And this past week, we have two great examples, I love them both, two great examples of saints who would serve as really true servants of the Lord. And the first one we celebrate today. And that saint is, we have a statue of her right over here, and that is of St. Teresa, we call the little flower. Today is her feast day, and St. Teresa was Carmelite nun who served and longed to serve the Lord so well in her life. We call her the little flower because she wanted to be 
a little flower for the Lord. She wanted to be something beautiful for the Lord. And as a servant of the Lord, she taught us that it's in the little things. It's in all the little things that we do to serve one another. That's truly where we can make a big difference in those little things. She wrote that in her autobiography called The Story of a Soul. If you haven't read it yet, you ought to read it sometime. It's beautiful writings of St. Teresa, the little flower. And in there, I like one of the lines she said when it comes to spiritual perfection. She said, the closer I get to perfection, the further it seems away. In other words, there's always room for improvement in our lives when it comes to our faith life and our relationship and love for the Lord. So I said there's two. There's not just St. Teresa who serves as a great example of service, but this week also we celebrate the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi, another popular saint among God's people. And St. Francis of Assisi, you know it by heart. Remember how we used to sing the instrument of your peace, the song, Make Me a Channel of Your Peace? And in there he talks about how he wants to be an instrument of God's peace and where there's doubt, let me bring faith. Where there's despair, let me bring hope. Where there's hatred, let me sow love. He's another fine example of being a servant to the Lord. So I think what we should pray this weekend is that we'll be faithful servants to God. Did you notice how he ended the gospel? Jesus said, for that servant, all he can say at the end of his life is to say, I'm an unprofitable servant. All I've done is try to do your will. And that would be exactly what we pray we have in our own lives, that at the end of our lives we can say, Lord, I've been your servant. I've done everything you've obliged me to do. I've tried to serve you well in this life. So let's ask God to make us true servants and in doing so, increase our faith life. And let's stand now for our creed. I believe. Born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Eternal Father, confident that you hear and answer our every prayer, we now present to you our humble petitions. Let us pray for the universal church for a spirit of growth and renewal throughout the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may always serve the Lord faithfully in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace in the world, especially in the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our sick and their caretakers. May they know the healing hand of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, especially for the souls of Joseph and Amelia Schiffelbein, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they come to share the, in the eternal joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let's 
Also tuck in a prayer for all those folks who've been affected by the hurricanes lately that to find the support and relief they need, let us pray to the Lord. Good and loving Father, hear the prayers we offer you today. In your love and mercy, answer them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Our offertory song is number 657, One Lord, 657. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. And accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service. Graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you're pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is certainly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin Mary. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, hosts and powers of heaven, 
we sing the hymn of your glorious without end we acclaim. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior. You're of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph and James, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Of all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, St. Francis, St. Teresa, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Thanks, you guys. I'm much obliged. Thank you. It's just kind of... the world have mercy have mercy on us in this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it from the world of the world, grant us, grant us peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. communion song is number 337 one bread one body 337 
Just one announcement. After Mass this afternoon, you'll want to stop by at this table in the back. It's right behind this row of pews. But I put out these beautiful calendars, religious calendars for the year. They're absolutely wonderful. You can take as many as you need. They're right in back. You might want to take one to somebody that's a shut-in, too, that might be may benefit from having them. So they're right on the table behind this row of pews in the back. And let's stand now for our closing prayer. 
Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we've received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Our closing song is number 444. Blessed be the Lord, 444. Thank you.